we go to the bakery and get the newspaper and start reading about ourselves, uh, which was really meta. Uh, and then, and then at some point in the morning, I said, Al, you know, why don't we just Google this <laughs> and see if we were right? Uh, and so we Googled it, and American Association of Zoos actually didn't have a record for whatever reason. But then. At some point, I said, wait, 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 there's, a, there's, there's this thing German, on the German, German site. site that has every elephant and the German going site, back to the Middle Ages. And wow. so the German site actually said that, um, you know, there was this elephant and it came from Zimbabwe. And we're like, yay, you know, it's an independent confirmation this thing happened. Well, now we, then we start digging a little bit uh, uh, longer for this story, and I confirmed that with Scott. So apparently in 1980s, it was in the 80s. Uh, the owner of Nautilus, who the person who developed the Nautilus uh, equipment that she used for exercise, you know, the weight equipment, uh, he imported a large group of elephants uh, from Zimbabwe into to his facility in Florida. And of course, it was a non-ASIA accredited facility or anything, so they wouldn't have, they wouldn't keep track of those animals. But